Welcome back, prospectors, to another episode of Prospector 1848. Today we travel to the Philippines to look at some U.S. coins. Woo-wee! Welcome back, prospectors, to another episode of Prospector 1848. Today, we're going to be looking at some special coins from the Philippines. Now, these coins are special because they were actually minted in the U.S. for the Philippines. After the Spanish lost the Spanish-American War, the U.S. assumed control of the Philippine territories. So they became a U.S. colony until about the end of World War II. Let's look at some of these nice coins that came from that mintage from the U.S. All right, so here we have our first coin. This is known as a one centavos. As you can see from the Philippines, it's got like a man that's kind of like working, sitting next to an anvil and a hammer. I assume that's made like the dedication of work. We have a mountain here, probably a volcano because it's got a little cloud. And on the reverse side, we have a shield. It says right here, United States of America, 1944. It does have a mint mark, which is S, San Francisco. If you look closer, it's a very pretty coin. It's got like a shield. I'm assuming that's supposed to be the U.S. The bottom part may represent the Philippines. If you know more, let me know. So this coin is not silver. The one centavos is not silver. So that's the one centavos. All right, also we have here, smaller one, the 10 centavos. This is silver. Once again, you see a young lady with a hammer and anvil. And of course the volcano behind her, 10 centavos. The reverse, United States of America. This is a 1945 with the mint mark of, if I can get a focus, uh, I think that's like a D. Maybe Denver. It's a very pretty coin. These are amazing coins that the U.S. minted for the Philippines when it was a part of a U.S. territory. We still have strong relationships with the Philippines. Uh, my wife is from the Philippines. So... I enjoy collecting these coins to remind my daughter of her heritage as a Filipino girl. This is a 20 centavos, also made of silver. Filipinas, beautiful young lady in a dress, same as the, same as the previous coin, the 10 centavos. This one's a little bit in better shape. The reverse, same thing. United States of America, this is a 1945. This is also a, a D. Looks like a D. Maybe that's a P. Could be Pennsylvania. I mean, Philadelphia. So that is the 20 centavos. Now we have the 50 centavos. Same depiction of the lady standing using a hammer to on an anvil a volcano United States of America here we get a little better of it it's a much bigger coin <laughs> 1944 this one has an S mark this is also silver and then we have the one peso Filipino coin. Now this one peso also has the same interpretation of the young lady. Alright, this one's got a little worn to it. You can see right there. This may be like it's been under water or salt and stuff. The reverse is a little bit different. United States of America. It's a 1907. It's an S mark. 
You can see there has been damage, but if you hold down the light, you can still see the stripes and stars there at a specific angle. Got a little scratch up here. Now, this the I am missing the two coins. I am missing the half centavos and the five centavos. Uh, hopefully, I will be getting those soon. And this is also made of silver. All right. So these are the U.S. coins that were minted in U.S., shipped to the Philippines when the uh, Philippines was part of the U.S. territories or colony. Um, yeah, so I will also be featuring later maybe some uh, post-war Filipino currency and coins when the Philippines became its own republic and started printing its own currency. So once again, prospectors, we found ourselves some treasures. Once again, this is the one centavos. This is the ten centavos. This is the twenty centavos. This is the fifty centavos. And finally, we have our one peso. I enjoy looking for these treasures from around the world. Not only U.S. coins, but U.S. coins that were minted for U.S. territories. Thank you very much for joining me here on Prospector 1848. As always, keep stacking that silver. Keep stacking that gold. Keep looking for those treasures. Thank you very much for joining me once again. Have a great day. Woo-wee, Prospectors. I guess there's a little bit of silver in the Philippines. As we look today at the U.S. Filipino coins during the U.S. colonization of the Philippines. Thank you very much for joining me. Woo-wee! Keep looking for those treasures.